How to build a real business. Bring value, customer service, and build a following. So bringing value, and I'm not saying by having a, the best price, that doesn't really build value. For me, building value is serving green, environmentally friendly food. That to people is valuable, very valuable. Avoiding white flour in my food is valuable to people. Having gluten-free food is valuable. Having a wider range of selections of beer is valuable to a beer drinker. So I'm showing value in those segments. It's not about price, it's about value. Now, you can show value through your stories and the history, which we'll talk about, because storytelling is huge. Um, customer service. You have to be on top of a customer service. There's so, there's so many people that are doing what you're doing out there somewhere and people can find them through the internet that you have to show some caring. You have to be, you, you have to have customer service. It's, it's one of those things where if you're not doing customer service, there's no, the customer shouldn't be buying from you. You have to, you have to understand what people want, what people don't want. You have to understand when they complain. You have to understand when they don't complain. One of our simple best tactics is a handwritten postcard. So my staff has to write five or so postcards a night. So not everybody gets a postcard. But again, you've come to my restaurant, you're a repeat customer or you're a first time customer. You've given me your email address, you've given me your address, you've given me your birthday. I have all that information. How long does it take to write a handwritten postcard and put a stamp on it and drop it in the mailbox? Takes all but five minutes to do fun. To, to, to the staff will say, Great, nice to meet you. Glad you enjoyed your tuna tonight, or glad you were out hiking on the trails. Come back. Your birthday, yep, bro. thanks for celebrating your birthday. Has anybody ever gotten a personalized handwritten postcard from a restaurant? Who did that? Excellent. It was a beautiful car, just a picture of their place, and I said, I have to go back. Beautiful. And it was hot. Right? And it worked, right? It worked. Right? Yes. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? And the next time you're there, you'll want to go back again. Ahead. And you're telling the story right now to us. Right? They bring the postcards back in and they say, oh my gosh, I can't believe you sent a postcard. Or I get text messages or emails from guests. Yeah, something so simple. Again, that costs how much in the long run? But time. You need to. I mean, it is. You say it it's five time. minutes, but people don't take the time. People don't take the time. People don't take the time to culture or nurture relationships because, again, people don't have patience, right? Most restaurateurs expect, well, why aren't you coming into my restaurant? Why aren't you coming back? You were here. Why aren't you coming back? They don't put the effort to get somebody back. They don't build that relationship. Let's face it. In my business another restaurant can come in and swoop somebody right up and I've lost a loyal customer. It's so easy to do. Industry facts in the restaurant business, guests like to hear from their favorite restaurant every 22 days. If I'm not communicating every 22 days, I can possibly lose a guest. I can possibly lose them before that, right? They can find an, another restaurant that they just love a dish or something or this or that or they happen to have moved closer to another restaurant. So but 22 days is the threshold in the restaurant industry. Every 22 days, 